Alrighty. This is looking pretty good. Ooh. Falcon Eddie. Falcon Newbie. Alright, bet you didn't know that uh, if we put this on the post of the fence there, that Imperial Archers can actually shoot beyond their range at hidden targets. I think they can anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Have I done it right? I have. I have done it right. And there we go. How do you shoot your cannons at me, you Falcon Newbies? Hey, hey. Bet you thought you were you were flash hot down there, didn't you? You thought you were safe, and you, sir, were wrong. Hey, boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Allenberg's Siege. Check it, check it out. Today we're going to bring in the Axie boys because uh, they're still the latest and greatest until the Shinji Grenadiers come out next week, so we'll push with that. Uh, oh, we're a player down. Um, we're going to take the Elb Halberdiers because they're one of my favourite blue tier units. Uh, we're going to take the Imperial Archers because, trust me, on the last point they are going to be brutal. So I'll show you how to, to place those real nice on that last point there. And, of course, we've got the mighty, indomitable, huge woodcutters. So... Looking down here, we've got a, let's have a look, we've got a very ranged heavy, ranged heavy uh, team here. Oh, that's alright, about balanced with the enemy. Most people don't change weapons during the game, so um, you can pretty much rely on what's going on there. So, don't forget, if, uh, if you'd like some help with the game, um, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm happy to answer your questions and things like that. If it requires a bit more in-depth or you actually want to have a discussion about uh, something or uh, get people's ideas, please join us in the Discord chat room as well. And that, there's a link to that just down in the uh, description of the video below. But anyway, for now, let's go murder some people. We've got excellent axes to go and axe people some more questions. The axe puns are never ending. I think everybody's making the same puns. Not even sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go get one of these shooty boys here. There's one particular piece of siege equipment I want to kill immediately. And it's that one right there. So job is done. Um, beyond that, uh, it doesn't really matter. So maybe we'll just try an owl. <laughs> we'll have another shot at it. But it doesn't matter, our job is done now. You really have to kill that Scorpio. It's, uh, it can do some real serious damage to your troops. Um, all the other equipment's taken. So we're now in that, uh, that, that limbo where as a melee character you're like, well, I mean, what do I do now? Come back here. Come back here. Let me love you. You need a healing. So, nothing unusual happening. No weird people climbing walls or anything. It's always good to check. We can go from there. So we're in that, yeah, we'll just, we'll just sit in the limbo. Particularly this map. This map's really quite notorious for having nothing to do for melee heroes for a while. One of the, one of the first maps in the game, this one. It's still one of my favourites. I, uh, I think my first video I ever put on YouTube was... Um, was this particular map. What are we doing? Should we dance? Should we dance? Hmm. Ouch. Ouch. Anyway, have a heal. Um, hmm. We've got this waiting game going on. What is this waiting game going on? Now, hey, if you don't have the Axe Raiders, the unit I've got out right now, uh, I highly, highly recommend them. They are very strong. People are learning now how to counter them, so they're, of course, they're coming back from their pinnacle. But uh, they're still a very, very strong unit. Um, primarily good for the number two ability. Number one throws like a... What did you call it? A chain. It's a, <laughs> the, the visuals are a chain, anyway, behind a unit or in front of you know, or anywhere else you like and then uh, they, they throw axes to that location and then you can press one again to dash there number two ability does a double throw of an axe which um, does a lot of damage like seriously a lot of damage and once that's done they also have a attack bonus against the things that they uh, that they attacked i don't know is it an anti-defense or pro attack either way and um, if you're wondering what all these people on the back wall are doing they're firing the artillery pieces down there so I have no problem with that, they're contributing. 
Look like you need some health, sir. Have some health. <laughs> no Dachi. Poor Nodachi, the most unloved weapon. It is the uh, the weakest weapon in the game, the Nodachi. Doesn't mean it's totally hopeless. It's, it's really, really good actually at early levels, but uh, once you start getting into the late game, it just it can't do enough damage and it can't drain enough health and you just end up dead all the time. Ooh. Ooh. I have something to do all of a sudden. Um, I don't think we're going to destroy that because the Martellaluri are pushing it. That gold shield is when uh, the Martellaluri 30 leadership premium unit are pushing the tower. And when that happens, the tower has a defensive bonus. Why are you pinging B? In this map, B is almost always first to fall. It's the least defensible uh, spot on the map. And generally, the defense of that side happens around the internal supply point. But for now, we'll just keep bombing stuff. Those people on the stairs are playing a risky game. It's up to them, I guess. No point in pinging the map now, though. The point is lost, and it's the easier one to capture, so it tends to fall fairly quickly. We'll just keep bombing people, because bombs are fun. I like bombs. Ah, oh. That was my free thing I found lying on the floor, and you blew it up. Meanie. Alrighty. So we haven't got too many people holding this wall, so I'm going to stick around here. He's shooting the pipe militia in the back. Scuzzy rat bag. Just undo all this hard work. Short bows don't do a lot of damage. Is he setting his peasants up? He is. I will oblige you. Oh no. Not the Matella Lori. <laughs> Devastating. So the little combos you can do with this is you can um, do the double throw. You can then do the number one throw. You can then um, press V to throw your axes. Press one to charge in, and then press two to double throw again, and then press V again to single throw. And by that point, you've gone through half your axe hardware, and you've killed a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, being a longsword, there's not much point in me chasing this guy. I cannot kill him, it's just not possible. So we'll ignore him. Hopefully somebody else will get him. So some very strange map pings. Okay, uh, so these guys got shot up a bit. I might just give them a heal, including Mr. Musket here. Did that guy just dive off the wall? <laughs> he did. <laughs> Somebody's trying to capture our right-hand supply point. It's no good. Fortunately, we have somebody over there. See him? This guy. He's a glaive. Nice, nice flanking whip in the glaive, but not something you generally want to be caught on your own with. Supply point here looks clear now. Okay. Oh, the SSR is having a bit of connection trouble here. Um, I'm using this to check where the individual heroes are. Uh, there's a lot coming across the top here. Here they come. Those are Zeregs. Purple tier, tier uh, season 2 unit. Here we're going to throw. We're going to charge in. We're going to double throw. Charge through, see if we can scare the pike away. He's an experienced pike, he knows he can't kill a longsword. That's interesting. Do the single throw, and by this point, the entire unit is evaporated for precisely zero casualties. Which is my favourite type of self casualties. Zero. Oh, we lost one. Boo. Boo hiss. The old Zerig's a very outdated unit now. They don't, they're not modernised with the current meta. They got very long cooldowns, only one ability, and they just do not do enough damage. They used to be called mini Iron Reapers, but now they're just, well, trash. It looks like suicide, we're not going in there. We don't need to push out, we are defending. What we do need is some axes. How are we going to ask lots of questions if we don't have the axe? If you go lads. So they're pouring over the, the A point walls now. We've got a couple of people standing over there on B. I think we'll be fine. Look at these grandpas coming down the stairs. That's extremely foolish. Uh, grandpas are strong. They're not that strong. So let's go teach them a lesson. 
A little misclick there, it would have been nicer to click behind them, and then they would have been throwing their axes into the back of them. It doesn't matter though, we are going to kill them. See how I'm using my um, longsword slashes to disrupt the unit? Longsword slashes don't do a ton of damage, but they, they're just as useful as any other for disrupting a unit. <laughs> Kev, huh? What Kev? The axes do stop a cavalry charge, by the way. Just like javelins do. Is that more cavalry? Wait, I'll show you. I'll show you now. There we go, watch. See? Stops cavalry. Except armages. Armages, uh, they just hit their two key and start a new charge. Uh, and hussars, who will uh, take the hit and then start charging all over again. Everything else you can hit nicely and stop them. Can we hit them down there? No, we can't. Send them back for some axes. Got one throw left. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, I think I'd rather go and melt another unit. Melty, melty time. There we go. Prefecture guard my butt. Maul my butt. Oh no, they're not prefectures, they're palace guards. Wow, palace guards will usually uh, evaporate the X Raiders. Speaking of ev uh, there's. We've only got a blue sword and shield unit and some pikes. I'm going to have to take the hit. This is going to get my unit killed, but somebody has to do the damage to this unit before it comes in and absolutely devastates us. So unfortunately, we are going to have to take one for the team here. Watch this. Now our team can come in and finish the unit. Now our team can come in and finish the unit. <coughs> now our team can come in and finish the unit. Fine. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Pushing the back supply. I think we'll grab the halberdiers and go back and protect that. Because it's a nice big open flat ground there, which uh, halberdiers, uh, the Alp halberdiers, aka the Landsharks, what I call the land sharks. The land sharks love big open flat areas because they can brace and power charge. Now initially this season um, I thought this unit was going to be a lot worse. Um, they got a, a nerf, a very significant nerf, that they do 25% less damage to heroes with the um, the power charge, which was kind of their main use. However, the power charge still does full damage to units. Allow me to demonstrate. So I may have called their death a little bit too early. And there we go, let's just melt an entire unit, shall we? Entire unit of meltiness. <laughs> and oh look, more misplayed palace guards that want to get chopped to bits. Lovely jovely. We took precisely one casualty there for all of that carnage that we caused. What's that longsword doing inside there? Oh, they're pushing A. Let's get back there. Look at them, they're all, all over A. But what have we got? A pair of pikes. Uh, some sort of sword and shield unit, double power brace. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clear this. Oh, the cavalry got there first. They took all my kills. You rat bags. Never mind. We should kill this hero. There we go. Should kill the other hero. There we go. Another one here. Oh, someone got him first. And another cavalry charge. So <laughs> they were probably feeling pretty juicy with all the units and heroes on the point there. Uh, they were wrong. So we've got precisely two minutes left to go. We're going to have to watch the... They'll be no good for the supply push, but they are going to try and take C. Now if you see this, this is called back capping. Um, if you see someone doing this and you're in a position to go, it's your responsibility. You must get up there. It's that same glaive that was pushing the supply point before. He thinks he's being clever, but he's not clever enough. He's got the wrong weapon for this type of nonsense. Something like a dual blades would be perfect, or a dueling weapon like a short bow. But we very quickly drove him off there. So, we can see them coming through the tunnel on A. See the map there? So let's go and hit him with another power charge. What do you reckon? Very slow to get there. More armor gelances. Tier for tier, point for damage. Armour Gelances are probably one of the best in the game. Hussars obviously being up there too. Let's see what we can do here. Can we kill any heroes? No, but we can smash a bunch of paladins. 
Just a few more there. Paladins are no joke, that's for sure. The active block makes them very, very strong. When the power charge comes in, generally it doesn't do a lot of damage to the unit, but it smashes their block and stuns them. Anyway, I don't know why this guy thought this was a good idea, but let's just collect them. And pushing out suicide, so let's not do that. We've got 41 seconds left, there's no need to kamikaze. Hello, what's going on up here? Hello there. Go away, Spear. You can't kill me. I'm not interested in fighting you. Go on. It's part of being a longsword. Sometimes you just don't bother fighting the heroes because you can't really do anything to them. If there was another one of our friendly heroes around... Oh, I've stuffed up that charge. They won't make it. Watch. See? Nah. If there's another friendly hero around, I might knock them over or something like that for the friendly hero to kill them. But, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you just don't bother with a longsword. You can't kill them. They can't kill you. Big waste of time. And that's GG, 180 kills I think that was, not too bad. Free vault, and that's pretty awesome, 1.5 done, 1.1 taken, we did more more kills than anyone else on the server. Um, it is 60, 60 something peasant kills, <laughs> so really they don't count, so we got about 120 kills, but it's showing 180 right? Oh, the X Raiders, around 100, and Alp Halberdiers, the Land Sharks, got one for 53, so that's very good for the Alp Halberdiers. Coming in second with 1,078 units, score one hero kill, which is pretty normal for a longsword. Let's <laughs> go, did okay. Nice, nice. And, yeah, I mean, what's, why do some of our guys die outside the castle? That's weird. Anyway. I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for coming to my channel.